Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're making a new version of a super bright reusable glow stick. Today's project is bigger, more durable, and yet still easy to make. The key items you're going to need are clear vinyl tubing, food grade glycerin, and strontium illuminate. That's that super glow powder I talked about in a previous video. In fact, what we're doing today is taking that video and dialing it in. We're going to use the same technique and build it out a little bit further to make something a little different. We're going to start off by cutting some lengths of tubing exactly the size that you're going to want your glow sticks to be. The next step is to straighten them out so our glow sticks aren't curved. I'm doing this by holding them in front of a heat gun and then allowing gravity to help me out a little bit by letting it straighten out. A hairdryer is not quite going to get hot enough to accomplish this, but you could always dip them in hot boiling water briefly and then making sure you let them dry out completely before you continue any next step. Here's that key technique from the previous video. We heat the end of the glow stick tubing and then we're going to grab it with a pair of pliers and pinch it tightly shut. This actually melts the ends together and allows it to be sealed very, very well. Again, if you don't have a heat gun, there are other ways of getting these sealed. In fact, you can do the same approach that you did in the previous video by using a source of fire. You could try something like a lighter, a mini torch, or even the burner on a stove. What you want to do is hold the end of the tube near the flame, but not in it. That will allow the end to melt without charring. The key reason that this version is so much more durable than the ones that we made in the previous video is because of this vinyl tubing itself. It is so much thicker. In fact, this particular tubing has a 3 8 inch outside diameter and a quarter inch inside diameter. That means the wall of the tubing itself is an eighth of an inch thick. That actually makes it very rugged for many purposes that you might want to use a reusable glow stick for. You'll notice that when sealing the end, I start with the middle and I hold it pinched shut for a little while and then I start moving towards the ends and work the corners until I make sure that they are sealed very well. If you have enough of the tubing, I recommend that you go ahead and make an extra section or two. That way, if something goes wrong or if you just have extra materials available at the end, you uh, already have the tube ready so that you can go ahead and make an extra glow stick or two. Now it's time to prepare the glowing liquid. We're going to start with some kind of a small cup or container to put some food grade glycerin in. I just used a little bit. And then I'm going to take a very small spoonful of strontium illuminate and add it right into the glycerin. This glycerin is thicker and actually helps to keep the powder suspended a lot better than in the previous version. Now you just want to stir it up really well until you have this nice little batch of glowing green goo. You can actually get strontium illuminate in various colors. This bright super glow powder actually can come in pink, yellow, and so many other colors. So maybe your batch isn't green, but it all works just the same. To take this next step, what you want to do is start by putting your syringe to the bottom of the cup and draw it up until you've got it pretty full. You're then going to take each tube and slowly start to drizzle it down inside that tube, leaving an extra space that's empty at the end of that tube. Then take your tube and put them into something that is able to keep it held upright. I happen to cut off the bottom piece of a bottle and fold up some cardboard to set inside and that held it up really, really well. You can often get syringes like this in a craft store, but you can also go to your local pharmacy and check in the children's section. Now that we have our glow sticks filled, we need to seal the opposite end of them to make sure that the glow fluid stays inside. In order to do this, we're just going to repeat the process that we did when we sealed up the first end. You can see as we're heating up the end to work on these that it starts to melt down and get a little thicker around that end. In fact, you may see a little twinge of smoke come off of it when it's just about ready and that's how you know it's time to go ahead and hit it with the pliers and make sure it's sealed. This is also not the time to squeeze them quite yet. But once it's cooled, give it a gentle squeeze and make sure that no liquid is trying to find its way out one of the ends. In fact, if you've sealed this really well, you can squeeze these hard and nothing's coming out. Remember those extra tubes I suggested you be prepared with? Well, I needed them. In fact, I was surprised at how little fluid it took to fill up each of these glow sticks. So that little bit that I made in the cup at the beginning filled all of these with extra to spare. Also a good little user tip, if you take a little piece of paper towel and wipe out the inside of the end before you seal it closed, it'll actually help to make sure that that seal works really well the first time. Any fluid or glycerin that sits on the end actually is going to make it harder to stay sealed closed. And now it's time for a test. This is the glow that you get from just the ambient light while you're making it. 
But if we dial in that charge a little bit by holding them directly under a light, you can see how much brighter they get. But if you want to take it to another level, charge it with UV light. They will end up looking really, really bright. And strontium illuminate, which you may remember from the previous video, will glow for hours. I bought my glow powder online through Amazon and have found many uses for it. So keep coming back because I'm going to have more glow videos in the future. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.